his and certain ethnic minorities, and it's right that the uh, review that's been commissioned by the chief medical officer happens as swiftly as possible. Clearly, it needs to uh, take the best possible advice um, and gather the right data so that it comes to uh, the most accurate conclusions to inform how we continue uh, to treat people and to manage the virus uh, in the months ahead because the virus in one form or another will be with us for, for a long time until there's a vaccine um, at least. And I'll, I'll ask Steve to say some more if, if, if he has it on how that review will be done. We're acutely aware of the anxiety within certain communities. As community secretary, that's extremely important to me and that's why we're trying to uh, reach out to all communities as we formulate faith uh, groups as we consider some of the arrangements that I described earlier in my opening remarks about how we treat uh, people's funerals uh, and the way that uh, families can mourn for individuals that they've lost. Um, we are, I, I have heard uh, a number of representations about those people who do not currently have recourse uh, to public funds. Um, who've come uh, in an undocumented way from, from other countries. The government's policy on that hasn't changed, but there is the ability for local councils to make sensible decisions based on the risk to life uh, that there may be in a small number of cases. And that's, for example, uh, the way that I know many councils regularly treat real concerns, for example, with rough sleepers um, in winter, and it's the way that those councils would approach this situation as well. As regards to the broader question about the NHS um, and the very large number of people who come from all over the world to work within it and to contribute, well, I think a, an emergency like this um, does remind us again of the incredibly important contribution that they make to the NHS, to social care and to our broader society. That's why steps like the NHS visa, for example, are very important, so that we can help people who want to come to the UK, who want to work in those services, to come here, to play their part, and to feel honoured and appreciated by our society for the contribution that they're making. Steve. Yes, so uh, as I said earlier, and as you've just heard, the Chief Medical Officer has commissioned this uh, review from Public Health England. Uh, Public Health England do have experts uh, within that organisation uh, who are in this area, but I'm sure the Chief Medical Officer will also want to ensure that other expertise is drawn in uh, from uh, other academic groups or other uh, areas uh, that have expertise too. I, I can't give you the names, I'm afraid, but I do know that the Chief Medical Officer is working on that with the Medical Director of Public Health England, Professor Yvonne Doyle, who was on this uh, podium yesterday. Uh, and I do know that he wants this to be done uh, as quickly as possible, but also to be done rigorously uh, to ensure uh, that it is done appropriately, the right answers, the right conclusions are drawn, uh, and it's the correct uh, experts and the right experts uh, who, who, do, who, are, who are able to look at this. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much for your, for your question. Uh, well, that concludes uh, this evening's uh, press conference. Thank you very much indeed for listening.